Hey guys, Hakon here with the Dragonfly Profession Guide. We covered jewel crafting in our last video, and today we'll be taking a look at my favorite profession at the beginning of expansions, and that is Inscription. It's usually my main focus since it has made me multiple gold caps and profit at launches. In Legion, it was great for the entire expansion as you could upgrade Dark Moon decks with Obliterum. In BFA, I made enough profit for Dark Moon decks to pay for my Brutusaur mount in 5 days. And in Shadowlands, it wasn't uncommon to have 10 million gold in sales in my mailbox most days, and the majority of that was Dark Moon decks at the beginning of the expansion. Dragonfly Inscription looks promising with Dark Moon decks, crafted staves and offhands, and lots of new crafts like profession equipment. For Inscription, we have three specializations, and they are Rune Mastery, Archiving, and Rune Binding. Rune Mastery is a spec that will improve quality of all crafts as well as milling and crafting. The first talent that we have here improves your plus skill to all inscription crafts, with the other two talents on the left granting you resourcefulness and inspiration. The talents on the right, Understanding Flora and Flawless Inks, will improve your milling and ink crafting by granting additional skill. If your main focus will be crafting anything that uses inks, then you'll likely want to invest points here early on. Archiving is a spec that will improve archiving goods. Archiving goods include Dark Moon deck boxes, contracts, missive, draconic treatises, and scale sigils. We'll take a look at what all of these are later on when we cover recipes. The left side of this tree focuses on improving your Dark Moon card and Dark Moon deck box crafting. Fire, Frost, Air, and Earth are the specializations here, which will improve your associated Dark Moon cards and decks. The middle branch focuses on Contracts, Missive, and Treatises. Finally, the right side of the tree focuses on, on Scale Sigils. These are the optional reagents for Dark Moon decks, which modify the shuffling effect. The third and last specialization that we have for Inscription is called Rune Binding. Rune Binding affects Rune Binding goods, which include Profession Tools, Staves, Codexes, Vantus Runes, and Fauna Runes. The left side is to improve Staves and Profession Tools while the right side will improve your Codexes, Vantus Runes, and Fauna Runes. The left side interests me greatly, as I made a killing in past expansions selling crafted staves. These were made with drill crafting in past expansions, but it looks like scribes will be able to craft them in Dragonflight. Now that we've taken a look at the Inscription talent trees, let's cover the recipes and items you'll be crafting. First we have Inscription Essentials, which is just milling and recrafting equipment. Similar to what we had for drill crafting, You'll be allowed to change optional reagents and the quality of some crafted items. You'll also have a reduced chance to gain skill from this. Next we have the backbone of the inscription profession, and that is ink crafting. We have five different types of inks in Dragonflight, and they are cosmic ink, which is rare, burnished ink, which is uncommon. We also have three common inks, blazing ink, flourishing ink, and serene ink. Keep in mind that each ink can also have three different quality ratings, so we essentially have 15 inks at Dragonflight launch. I'll be covering my data collection for milling herbs, as well as ink crafting, either in a separate video or over on a Patreon post. We have reagents next. These include an item called Illustrious Insight that adds 30 skill to a craft as a finishing reagent. This will be important if you're short on the skill rating to craft the highest quality item like a staff. We also have Ruined Writhebark and Children's, which are just mats used in other crafts. We have Missives making a return in Dragonflight. These will work the same as they did in Shadowlands, and will allow you to specify what secondaries you want on an item. The biggest change in Dragonflight is that there are now six different types, rather than the four that we had in Shadowlands. The reason for that is, rather than needing a Missive of Haste and a Missive of Mastery for the Haste-Mastery combo, now you will only need one missive of the Fervor Flare, as it specifies both Mastery and Haste. Next we have the Runes and Sigils category. As mentioned earlier, Sigils are the optional crafting reagent, which changes the way that your Dark Moon deck shuffles. I don't think any of these are particularly useful, maybe aside from the Sage Skill Sigil. This will allow you some control over the shuffling of your deck, as it will only shuffle when you jump. This allows you to jump until you land on a card that you want, and then not jump. In this category, we also have the Vantus Runes for the first raid tier. 
Vault of the Incarnates. Lastly, we have Runes, which are similar to the oils for weapons that we had in Shadowlands. Buzzing, which will give you a chance to proc crit. Howling is for haste. And chirping is for a small heal effect. As we covered earlier, Scribes will have the ability to craft staves, both agility and intellect, as well as offhands. Staves will likely be an amazing gold maker, as you can infuse them with primal infusions and concentrated primal infusions, raising their item level as high as 418. You can also customize secondary stats using missives that we covered earlier. Remember that you only need one for both secondaries. Additionally, you'll be able to add an embellishment. This is a useful effect similar to the profession optional region that we had in Xerath Mortis. Next, we have the trinkets category, which are the recipes for the Darkmoon deck boxes. These are not to craft the decks themselves, but to raise their item level using a primal infusion or concentrated primal infusion. You'll also be able to add in a sigil here to change the shuffling. Note that you actually need the base Darkmoon deck first, as well as a bunch of other materials for this craft. I'll cover how to get the Darkmoon decks later on. We have scrolls next, which includes illusions, which are mostly for cosmetic effect, allowing you to appear like you're casting a spell on another player. We also have a scroll of sales recipe here, which will summon a general goods vendor, which you can buy or sell to. You can also repair with this vendor, so this could be great in dungeons or raids where you're unable to mount but need to repair. Note that it's on a long 6 hour cooldown and the vendor is only up for 5 minutes. Inscription can craft profession equipment for 3 professions, and they are Inscription, Cooking, and Alchemy. The rare equipment looks fairly expensive to craft early on, requiring 300 artisan's metal. This is something that you get from crafting. As every profession will want to have the highest possible stats while crafting to maximize their efficiency, if you can craft these at the highest quality with the desired crafting stats, they should make you a lot of gold early on. Next we have the Mysteries category, which includes the bundle of cards Dragon Isles craft. This is what you make if you're after Dark Moon cards. Unlike prior expansions, making this recipe only uses Awakened Essences instead of Inks. These Awakened Essences are like Primals or Volatiles that we've had in prior expansions, and will likely be scarce and very expensive early on. If this recipe is too expensive to make early on, it may be worth fishing or gathering for the cards for the first few days, and try to snipe the cards that you're missing off of the auction house. We also have fortune cards. These are similar to the cards that we had back in WAD. One common ink and one parchment off the vendor crafts one fortune card. Flipping the fortune card will give you something that you can vendor, with the vendor value being random. Lastly, we have the four extraction recipes. This is what you can use to salvage some of the Darkman cards if you end up with a bunch of extras. We have contracts for five different factions currently on beta. These work the same as they did in any other expansion, and gives you additional rep whenever you complete a world quest. One crown shot is good for seven days, and I'd guess that these recipes will be rep gated on live. If you can get any of these recipes unlocked before anyone else, they should make you a lot of gold. The last thing we're going to cover today is the profession specialization category, which craft a treatise for each profession. On beta, we started out with enchanting inscription, but crafting the recipe will give you a chance to discover a treatise for another profession. These grant knowledge, which is used for the profession talents, so they will be in high demand early on. Inscription has a lot of customization items for dragon writing. Dragon writing probably deserves its own video, so we'll cover these in the future. Overall, I'm very excited for Inscription and Dragonflight, and I have no doubt that we'll rake in tens of millions of gold in profit. Dark Moon decks always do very well early on, and once people start getting primal infusions and concentrated primal infusions, the Dark Moon deck boxes, the crafted staves, and offhands will likely be a big gold maker. Thank you all for watching, and as always, thank you Nish, Lachlan, Augusto, and Mauro for your support over on Patreon. Hope you guys all have a great week, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Late.